This section is called Do In. It's a whole warm up for the total body before you start any of the other sequences with Tai Chi Qi Gong. Everything that we do here will be repeated three times to really get that body warmed up. Just start by loosening up the fingers, shaking them out, shake the wrist out, through the elbow and into the shoulder. Really feel it become nice and floppy. Just get everything moving. Now shake both arms out together. Feel nice and loose and relaxed. Feel those joints relaxing now. And try and shake out each leg. If you're not feeling too steady, just hold on to the side of a chair. That's no problem. Just shake your whole body, jump up and down a couple of times. And inhale, rub your hands together and then clap three times over your head. This will start to wake up all the chi in the body. Tap gently over your head, from your forehead, over your head and down to your neck. And then smooth your hands over your head again into your neck area. Now we're just gently going to stretch the neck out. Just put your hand on the side of your head gently with the weight of your hand feel that stretch going down into your shoulder now let your chin relax onto your chest and feel the vertebrae in the back of your neck just opening up and releasing turn gently to each side looking over your shoulder just as far as you can go comfortably and now start really working that neck knead from the base of the neck up to your head just rotate the muscle a little bit there to relax it. And now just gently tapping down your shoulder all the way down the arm. This is waking up all the channels in your arms now and really getting that chi flow going. Don't tap too hard, keep it nice and light, but make sure you can feel it. Rotate each finger nice and gently and then just flick off at the end. This just again brings all the chi to the end of the channels and really gets it all going. Gently rotate, don't press too hard on the knuckles and just flick off at the end of the finger. Loosen up all those joints. Now tap down either side of your spine. This is down what we call the bladder channel and this wakes up all the organs of the body. Tap across the base of your back, round into the buttock really loosen up those muscles then rub your stomach nice and vigorously and flick it away tap down the outside of your leg and up the inside down the outside and tap gently back up the inside now we're just going to loosen up those ankles very gently rotating the foot nice and supported if you can just lift your foot up and give it a full rotation in each direction Again, you can hold on to the side of a chair now if that feels easier for you. Stretch the top of the foot by gently leaning forward into your front knee and just tucking your toes under your foot and feel that stretch on the top side. Now bend forward and lean into your toes, gently rotate the ankle, lean into it and rotate. That stretches the toes out nicely. If you come to a sitting position now, however is comfortable for you, I just want you to knead up the soles of your feet. Use your knuckles and really get into the soles of your feet. Rotate each toe nice and gently again, and then just flick off at the end. Again, this just helps activate all the channels that are in the legs and that start and finish in the feet. Knead up each sole of your foot, come up to the toes and then just rotate and flick it away. Gently come back up to a standing position. Stand nice and relaxed. And now we're just going to tap down the arms, back up and across the chest. This just starts activating some of the main channels which will help you loosen up and get in touch with the chi in your body ready for the exercises. Just tap up the arms, across the chest and back down the other side. Again, repeat this three times to each side. Now gently just start to swing your body, bending one knee as you straighten the other leg as you allow your body to twist and rotate. 
and then just take up the intensity slightly and let those arms just swing round your body. Try and bring that front arm so that your hand actually comes up and connects with your chest at shoulder height. The back arm will just be tapping round your back. And then relax the swing and come back to neutral. Finally, we're going to really activate that chi. Bring your hands up to your waist and forward. Fingers facing back and then facing forward, up onto your toes and down. And release, really punch it forward. Always bring your hands back down to Dantian and hold the chi in that position, grounding and rooting between every sequence that you do. 